Hey guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. How are you today? Welcome to Saturday's Singles, where I just play with my single eyeshadows. I'm filming this later in the evening because I can't guarantee that tomorrow I will feel well enough to film. Last week I did something. I don't know what happened, but um, I've had a hard time bouncing back. That's why my um, videos have been so sporadic this week. Thank goodness I had the majority of my videos filmed for this week, but I did have to still suck it up and film some that I still haven't gotten posted because I haven't had it, it in me to edit them. So uh, I am filming this because I can't guarantee that tomorrow morning I will be able to, or even afternoon, that I'll be able to film. So, well, I am just, I thought, well, Lori, let's film. So I am filming this a little early. It's almost Saturday morning. <laughs> very close to Saturday morning here. And when I'm done, it might be Saturday morning, so that's fair. All right, so you know I have been working on some singles that I thought about um, decluttering. But I decided to bring more um, eyeshadows in. These are the ones that I've been thinking about decluttering. This is the outlier that I just set my primer with. And these ones I've just brought in. There's no rhyme or reason to them. I've just brought them in, you know, in case I wanted to use them. I am going to take this color right here. It's by Color Design. That's what the sticker says. It's called Positive and it's by Color Design, Luxury Products, LLC. Okay, I don't know where I got it. It's just probably going to look like I'm resetting my primer. We'll see. But I'm just putting it in that transition. Yep, that's what it's looking like. It's been a heck of a week. A heck of a week. So I'm hoping this week is much better. Did anybody do anything fun for New Year's? I was asleep at four. I woke up for a little bit, sent a text to Tracy, my friend, and then I was right back asleep. That was my exciting New Year's Eve. I was supposed to go to my mom's on New Year's Day, but I still didn't feel well enough, so I did not go. Okay, this is Profound Plum by Coastal Scents. Let's see what it does. So I've slept the majority of this week. I'm, I'm not complaining about that. <laughs> That's just what I've done. So I haven't got a lot done. So I'm behind in videos. Sounds like there's a fight outside. Sounds like they were on my porch. I don't know if it was just my neighbors or what. Not cool. Not cool. So I want to run something ideas by you guys. I have thought about incorporating a few more fragrance um, videos into my into my um, besides Fragrance Friday, some other um, fragrance videos. Is that something you guys would be interested in or no? Um, leave me a comment. 
I'm going to try a different look. I'm kind of hesitant to do this on film. I mean on video. Since I've practiced a few times watching the same video over and over and over again. And that is Lauren May Beauty did a tutorial on, a, I think it, they're called a halo eye. See what I know. And I've practiced and practiced and practiced, did a whole bunch of looks, <laughs> none of which you, you guys will ever see. No, you may not come over here, sorry. But I will post her video so you can check out her. Are you going to sleep there? Uh, so you can check out her um, tutorial. She does such a good job describing how to do the look and walking you through it step by step. So why I'm doing it now is beyond me, considering I still don't feel comfortable doing it, but... Guess what I'm doing? <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't do all the steps that she usually talks about doing. So, because I haven't done it in a couple of weeks. So, a couple of these will be a little backwards, but hey, that's okay, right? Backwards is okay. I do things backwards all the time. Okay, I am going to take the shade that I cannot get to. This is called, it's by Honey Bee Gardens. It's called Dragonfly. What is up with me lately? It's this beautiful shade. I think it's pretty. Let's see how it works. Though. This might, this one might not work. We'll find out. We'll find out. Since I'm doing this a little bit backwards, I am putting this up here just at the top of my crease. Well, that worked. It's a little over in the corner. I know this is bass backwards, but you know, sometimes you screw up and you just gotta do it backwards. This is a pretty shade. I didn't, I didn't think it would actually give any depth, but it actually really is. I feel like I'm sitting in Montana for you guys. <laughs> I feel like I am very far away from the camera. Is that better? I don't usually watch tutorial tutorials and I definitely don't do tutor you know follow tutorials very often but I found this one so easy I couldn't help but um try it out and see if I could do it and I've liked some of the looks that I have come up with they're not ones that I will ever show anybody I think I sent a picture to Jordan I had different looks on each eye but that's yeah those that's the only pictures I actually have I don't even think I have them anymore I think I've deleted them since then. I 
Okay, let's take something to deepen this up. I don't have a purple, do I? Yes. Oh, kind of. No, I'm afraid to do that one. Okay, I'm actually going to use... Let's destroy it. Maybe. Okay, I am going to take Beauty Mark by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just want to darken it up just a little bit. And Taking this, it's a real techniques brush, and it's got like this flat. Everybody loves it, but I'm not a huge fan of it. But we're going to use it because I just want to darken up this outer. Well, that actually worked. Better than I thought it would. I didn't think Beauty Mark would work. Do you guys have any new plans for the new year? Any, if you have a channel, do you have any plans, goals, anything like that? I don't have any goals other than to create content that you guys want to see. That's why I ask about the fragrance topic. I'm going to take this positive and I am positively going to put it just across the top here, just to soften up. Since I did it backwards, my plan is no glittery shadow in my brow bone this week, but I have no, no guarantees that that will happen. None whatsoever. Okay, this look isn't looking anything like her tutorial. That's okay. That's okay. That is okay. Okay, then she takes a glitter glue. I'm just going to take my primer and stick it right in the middle. You guys probably have done a thousand of these and probably find me screwing this one up entertaining, which is good. I would rather be entertaining than boring. I just wanted to put it a little higher. A little bit higher. Okay, we are going to take Tea Rose Pink. It has, can you guys see? It has glitter in them, little micro glitter. So I'm hoping it's not a mat with just glitter in it. might be so maybe we'll try it and if it doesn't work then we'll go for something else i should have put that beauty mark on the inside to darken it up as well oh well i might anyways or i might not Okay, that's tea rose pink. That's pretty. I'm going to take Beauty Mark and just deepen up that inner corner just a little bit. Just 
So it's not just that bam purple. Okay, okay, now I am going to take, this is not on her to do this, but I'm doing it because I did everything backwards. This is a no name, kind of shimmery pink. And I am just going to go over right here in my crease with this shimmery pink to soften all that up. If I'd done this the right way, this would have been the first thing I put down, but I didn't. So I'm doing it this way because I can, right? We're allowed to do things. We Are there really rules to makeup we ha have to follow? If so, leave them down in the comments below. I would like to know. I don't think so. I'm I'm a firm believer, but I've always been a rule breaker, so. Okay, so I did put a shimmer shade up in my brow bone, but not tightly. Okay, that is it. Let me go do my face and I will be right back. All right, so I am back. This is my finalized look. I don't know why my lashes always look lopsided but I have as much mascara on one side as I do the other. I took this pink, this no name pink and tapped it all over because I wasn't liking the tea, is it tea rose? Tea rose pink it just wasn't working for me so I took this no name pink, tapped it all over my lid and took it up above my crease and then I target and then I placed this blue Liberty by Lisa Wattier right in the middle um, of my eye and I like this look much better than the tea rose pink it just it went it goes with the purple that is in um you know in the base colors just a little bit better i think i did take and put this tea rose pink right in the corner of my eye and i really like it there that was a perfect place for this tea rose pink I'm keeping all of them every single one of them are a keeper in their own right. That tea rose pink I wasn't sure about until I put it in my inner corner and I loved it. So I think it would work beautifully there, up in my brow bone. It just wasn't what I wanted in the middle. Everything else performed beautifully. Beauty Mark I did have to kind of finesse because it is starting to dry out so that tells me I need to kind of incorporate it into everyday life. But all the rest, I'm keeping. I like them. They are all keepers. So we're an all keeper kind of week this week. I really like this look. I, you know, it's these are not my go-to everyday eyeshadows. But I really like this look. I think it's pretty. I think the color combination is pretty. I can't stop looking at myself in the mirror because I think the look is stunning. Now, did I do Lauren's tutorial correct? No. <laughs> I need to work on it. But I really like the way it turned out, even though I kind of bombed it. I think the look turned out pretty well. So this is my look for my Saturday singles. I sure hope that this is spurring you to want to use your singles if you have them. Yes. If you think this needs a little something more, let me know in the comments. So you guys take a care, be safe, and I will see you on the next one.